There are many different medications that patients with asthma take to control or prevent their symptoms, and they come in several different dosage forms. Some medications come in tablets, liquids, or capsules that are taken by mouth. Examples of these include prednisone tablets, methylprednisone liquid, albuterol tablets, and theophylline capsules. However, most of the medications are inhaled directly into the lungs so that the medication is delivered directly to the site of action. The first category is the fast-acting medications, or what is called rescue medications. These medications work very quickly to relax the smooth muscle in the airways and decrease the constriction of the bronchioles. They are used when patients are having trouble breathing and need immediate asthma relief, like during an asthma attack. Examples of rescue medications include albuterol inhalers, also known as Provental or Ventolin, also terbutaline, which is also known as breath air or breathine. Another example is ipratropium, also known as Atrovent. And then when they have the combination of albuterol and ipratropium, known as Combavent. These medications come in a number of dosage forms, but are most often administered by inhaler or nebulizer for immediate relief. If the asthma symptoms are severe, the doctor might also prescribe a steroid to be taken by mouth to decrease the inflammation and swelling in the lungs. Examples of steroids might include methylprednisolone, also known as Medrol, prednisone, also known as deltazone, orazone, or liquid pred, and then finally prednisolone, also known as prelone or pediapred. The other category of medications includes all of the longer acting medicines. These medications treat the underlying inflammation that is present in the airways and decrease mucus production. These medications are taken every day on a scheduled basis to prevent or decrease the number of asthma attacks that a patient may have. What this means is that patients may need to take the medication a prescribed number of times each day, regardless of if they are having an attack or not. These medications should never be used in an emergency or used to treat acute attacks because they do not work quickly enough to provide the relief. Some examples of long-term control medications include inhaled medications like beclomethazone or also known as Beclavent, Budesonide, also known as Pulmacort, Flunicilide, also known as Aerobid, Fluticasone or Flovent, Triamcinolone or Asmacort, Chromalin or Intal, Netochromil or Tylade, Salmeterol or Cerevent, and then the combination of Fluticasone and Salmeterol, which is known as Advair. Oral long-term medications include Zafirlucast or Acolate, Xylutin or Zyflo, Theophylline, also known as Theodor or Slobid, and then Albuterol Extended Release, which is known as Volmax or Provental Repetabs.